Hey guys, I'm just doing a quick vid on my CB radio update sort of thing. I'm still running on the Midland 1001Z. And, uh, yeah. But, uh, I have a new addition. But, first, let's hear it. Now, do you hear how clear that is? Well... That's because I've gotten a new antenna. It's a four foot whip for like a truck. And I got this off eBay. And it comes with about a nine foot, ten foot, something like that lead for uh, to connect your CB. And if I want to put this in like a truck, you'd probably need like a. 18 foot or something to run under the chassis and all that stuff, but I don't own a truck, so I'm good now. But anyways, uh, yeah, I bought this kit off eBay. It was $25, and uh, yeah, everything that came with it is made in the USA. The cable, actually, I don't know if it was made in the USA, but um, oh yeah, it was. It this kit actually, I'll send you the eBay link, but this kit is actually a diesel whip antenna with the brackets for diesel that are made in the U.S. Same with the antenna. And the cable, it even says made in the U.S. on it. And it comes with the adapter that the, cable, the antenna screws into. And for 25 bucks, it's made in the U.S.A. with the name Diesel, which I heard that's like a good brand. Like, it's not like some ching ching Chinese knockoff crap, you know. But, um, yeah. You can hear how clear it is compared to my dipole that I had. And I'm in the... I'm, right now I'm outside and stuff. In my room, I'm in the garage. But it's so clear, like, compared to my dipole. So, yeah, me and my friends this week, we're gonna be doing some sea being, having some fun. Then, yeah, well, if you want the link, which I really recommend this, um, the only thing you should ask me about is right here is how to put this together because. This is a ground, and unless you're, if you're like using it for a base station, don't use a ground unless it's like mounted to a piece of metal or some crap. Cause I've been having this on, and I just figured out that this was the only one I needed on because I was not getting, I was just getting static, and I was so confused why it wasn't working. But this one, if you're like have it connected to the metal truck, you know, like the beam thing, um. Yeah, you could use the ground on one of these bolts. But I was so confused. That's the only thing they don't give with you is, um, instructions. But it makes sense now that this one is all covered in, like, a black kind of plastic. Like, it was dipped in it. And, oh, sorry. And, yeah, this one's bare. So it really doesn't matter if the ground's bare as long as there's a good solid connection and doesn't really need insulation, it's not like it's going to shock you or anything, but anyways, yeah, um, I think I'm going to be buying an amplifier for it, I know it's illegal, but who cares, everybody uses them, okay, not everybody, but a lot of people use them, and yeah, so, I'm going to be buying a SWR meter and noise clipper, so I don't, I'm getting really good with reception right now, but I want to get perfect, so if I get that amplifier and this noise clipper thing which takes out all the interference I'm gonna be good this antenna is rated 250 watts and the amplifier I'm getting is only gonna be about a hundred so it should be fine but uh also there's a kit for 35 just an extra 10 bucks and it uh, comes with a harness for two uh, antennas 
and it has like a 10 foot thing too and even the connector I'll just take this off real quick even the connector on the back of this thing is like very very like good quality metal and plastic like here's an old one I had that was a magnet mount that I used for my uh dipole and a uh, piece of crap like the connections aren't solid or anything but this one looks like professional and everything I don't see being it's amateur radio so it really isn't professional but you know what I mean but uh yeah uh, thanks for watching and uh if you if you need the link just tell me I'll send it to you and I highly recommend this kit you can hear how clear it is and it's cloudy right now because it was just storming like all day really badly so it does even good in a high rain and crap well it's not raining now but I had it earlier like maybe an hour ago and it was raining and thundering and lightning probably needed to ground them <laughs> but it's just ground level but um I think I'm gonna be building a truss out of metal putting up the side of my garage and have this on it, but, uh, I'm rambling on, but, uh, thanks for watching, and, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and like the video.